Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. So today we've got a three-way fountain pen showdown. The first pen is this. This is a Moonman M600S. This has got a Moonman nib on it. The second pen, it's another Moonman. It's a Moonman M800. This pen has got a Moonman nib as well. And then the third pen, well, it's another Moonman M800. The difference here, this has got a Bok nib. So join me down on the mat. We'll take a look at these pens. We'll do some measurements, some weights. Then we'll have a look at the ink that's in each of them. And we'll do a writing sample. At the end, I'll give you my impressions of each of these pens. So here we are down on the mat. We've got that Moonman M600S, the Moonman M800 with the Moonman nib, and the Moonman M800 with the Bok nib. For the majority of this review, we're just going to concentrate on the Moonman M600S and the Moonman M800 in blue. The reason for that is the two Moonman M800s, apart from the colour and the nib, they're identical. So we don't really need to spend a lot of time looking at each one individually. We'll just look at them at where the differences are. So let's jump in now, get rid of the two M800s and take a look at this. This is the Moonman M600S. I love the looks of this pen. I'm just going to spin it around so you can see. Look at this chatoyancy in this and the way that we've got that colour coming through. So we've got blacks in there. We've got, I would say, some pale blues, some like tealy type blues. Now this is described in the sales literature as being a blue pen. Personally, I think it's more of a green pen, but we'll go by what they say. Now the Moonman N600S, it comes in four different colors that I've been able to find. And it's really reasonably priced. It's 25 Australian dollars. So I don't think that's really a lot of money for a pen of this quality. If we take a quick look around it, at the top here, we've got a flat top. It's in black plastic. That comes down and we've got some tapering down till we come to this gold colored clip. Now the clip, it's fairly stiff. It does fit nice in my shirt, as you saw in the introduction. That slides really well in and out of a shirt pocket. So that's good. The cap, oh, look at that colouring. I've got to be honest, every time I look at this, I just see that gorgeous colour. Anyway, the cap, it's the same width all the way down. We've then got these two gold coloured bands and a little bit more of a cap. And then there's a step down to the main body. I've got to be honest, I don't like the step down. I don't like the step down really on any pen, but this particular one, you know, I can really feel that. The main body, it looks like it's tapering down ever so slightly, following that gorgeous colour in again, till we get to another gold cap. And then at the end, we've got another black plastic finial here. It's just plain there and it's flat on the bottom. This is very much inspired by a Parker Duofold. Let's take a look how many turns to take the cap off. There's half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Is this going to ever end? Literally just a tad over three turns to take the cap off. The cap. Can't see any liners in there. Just put that up so you can hopefully see inside. So there's nothing in there. There's no liner or anything. And we'll take a look at the nib. So this is a Moonman nib. It's a standard nib that really comes with most of their pens. But it's a gold colour. If we look on it, there's a little bit of tracery around the outside. Then below that crescent shaped breather hole, we've got the Moonman logo and the word Moonman. One of the things which I find a limitation with Moonman pens is the nibs. They only come in a fine. There's no mediums around. There's no, no way of getting any kind of variation. Although most of the nibs are standard sizes, so you can swap them out. But it would be nice if you can buy them with that option to get a different nib, wouldn't it? But that's by the by. That's not what we're here to look at. Let's pop the cap back on. Now, before we even do that, let's just take a look. It's a cartridge converter. We've got Moonman here. 
on this metal fitting, which means because there's all this metal, you're not going to be able to eyedropper this, which is a shame because again, it would be nice to have an option. You've got standard Moonman converter here. And that takes, you know, I roughly get about three weeks of writing out of one full of that. So again, that's not overly bad. So there it is. That's the Moonman M600S. Going to fetch in the blue M800 now. So the M800, we'll take a general look and I'll fetch the other one and we'll look at the differences. So we start off at the top of the cap and it's got a domed finial. It's the same colour, the same material as the rest of the body. So that looks quite nice. So you've got that continuation of colour. Whereas with the M600, you had that black top and bottom. This comes down to a fairly flexible gold coloured clip. One of the things I like with this is it's got the wheel on the bottom of the clip. That does help a little bit with getting it in and out of a pocket. The cap, it's actually tapering up. It's very slight, so it's hard to see. So we're tapering up to about here, then it seems to go flat. That comes down to two thin gold bands. And again, we've got a little bit more plastic, but here, this is going down to the body. So that step down is nowhere near as bad as it is on the M600S. It's actually fairly smooth. We come down, there's another gold band here, which is on the body. The body, about three quarters of the way down. Well, that's all one width. And then we've got a slight tapering down to another gold band and again, to that finial, which has got that same derm on the end, so it matches both ends. I actually quite like it. You know, I love the look of this. The M800, I will be honest, it's one of my favourite pens. It's very loosely based on a Leonardo Memento Zero. I'm just going to fetch in this, which is a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, so it's the bigger size. But you can see the, the overall shape, the overall design, very, very similar. We'll take a look at the nib in a minute when we look at the other one. But we look here, the section, well, that picks up the same colouring as the rest of the pen. It's a fairly short section, but that's something you do get used to. Then again, like the M600, we've got this metal gold coloured fastener here. And then we've got that Moonman converter. So all very much similar to the M600 in, in some respects. I'm just going to put this back on, fetching the amber pen. Now, I will be honest again, I much prefer the looks of the amber pen. I really like the colouring of it. We're going to start by looking at the colouring. So with the blue one, I'm going to start twisting it around. You can see here, there's just plain blue translucency here. Whereas here we've got a little bit of that chatoyancy coming through, a bit of patterning. And patterning on the cap now. Nothing at all here. Then a little bit more patterning as we come back around to where we started. With the amber, it's the same. So we've got bits where we've got some of that pattern, that glorious, I would say like a cat's eye type pattern there. But also we've got bits where there's no pattern, it's just translucent. Back to some pattern in there. And this is one of the things which puts me off this pen. It's this lack of consistency. I would have liked to have seen this gorgeous pattern going all the way around the pen. And I don't see why it's not there. I think, I don't know if it's quality control or their processes. There's just no consistency to it. For me, give me the pattern or give me nothing but make it all the way around the pen, not this horrible mismatch where, to me, it just looks like someone couldn't be bothered to think about it. They just thought, oh, we'll shove that in. And that's a shame because that really does detract from the beauty of these pens. To take the cap off, it takes, there's half, there's one, one and a quarter turns. So much better than it on the M600. So let's take a look at these nibs. 
Let me pop these next to each other so we can look at the nibs next to each other. Can you see the difference? The blue one, that's got that Moon Man nib. The amber one has got a Bok nib. So the Bok nib, it's got a little bit more detail to it. We've got mainly gold, but then we've got that silver end. If we take a look at what's on it, so we can see in the gold, we've got a little bit of patterning around the edge. We've got a circular breather hole, whereas on the Moon Man one, it's like a crescent. Below that, we've got a completely different logo on the two pens. And then below those logos, on the Moon Man, we've got the words Moon Man. And on the Bok, we've got the word Bok. So what's the difference between these? Obviously, because of that nib, there's a difference in price. When I bought these, the blue one cost me 52 Australian dollars, whereas the amber one cost me 82 Australian dollars. So that's a $30 difference to have that Bok nib. Is it worth it? Well, we'll see when we come to the writing samples. So other than that, other than the colouring and the nib, they are the only differences between these two pens. Let me just pop these back together. Just fetching that other Moon Man for one second. So these are the three pens we're looking at. The Moon Man M600S, the Moon Man M800 in blue, and the Moon Man M800 in amber. I'm now going to fetch in my rule. And what we'll do, we'll just do the measurements of two of these pens. We'll use the 600S, obviously, and we'll use the blue M800. So here's the trusty rule. Starting off with the M600S. So let's fetch that in. There we go. So its length with the cap on is 14 centimeters. Let's take off the cap. That's 12.6 centimeters. Posted, does it post? Oh, not very well. Look at that, it's so wobbly and only just sits on there. So I would say this isn't a pen that you can post. Let's have a look at the measurement just to be complete. Well, that's about 17.7 centimeters. The width with the body here, that's 1.27 centimeters. The cap is 1.49 centimeters. And this black section here, well, that goes from 1.01 centimeters up to 1.10 centimeters. So not really a very wide pen, but how does that compare to the Moon Man M800? So here's the M800. Just pop that down there and get that lined up. So lengthwise, more because of the pointy ends on the finials, that comes out at 14.2 centimeters. Capped, uncapped, and post, there we are. Let's go uncapped first. I'm jumping ahead, aren't I? I'm getting so excited here. So uncapped, it's 12.7 centimeters, so ever so slightly longer, but you'd hardly realize it. Posted, posts really nicely. Let's line this up again. There we go. So posted is 16.6 .6 centimeters. Our widths. On the body, that's 1.4 centimeters. The cap, 1.5 centimeters. The section, it goes from 1.0 centimeters up to 1.2 centimeters. So all in all, a slightly wider pen. Let me just pop this back on. And if I just fetch in that Moonman M600, let's pop them next to each other, just so you can see, you know, yes, number wise, we're saying there's some differences, Let's line that up a little bit better. But when you look at them, to be honest, they look virtually identical size-wise. Obviously, the shape of the body is different, but the lengths and the widths look very similar to me. Next thing we're going to do is look at the weights. So let me get these out of the way again. I'll fetch in my trusty scales of measurement. Here we go. Let me just set that to zero. And we'll start with the M600S again. So here we go. So its total weight is 28. If we look at just the cap alone, that's 10. So that's 18 grams for the body. For the M800, 24. So its total weight is less. Let's look at the cap. The cap is seven. So that means the body is 17. So the body is again, very roughly the same weight. The total weight, yes, there's a little bit of a difference. To be honest, you can't really feel it. Now we're coming to the part which we're all waiting for, the writing sample. So as usual with my writing samples, 
I'm going to be using the Optic paper from Oxford. Really love this paper. As you must have noticed, I use this paper in all my reviews just so that I've got consistency. Let's fetch in this and let's have a look. What pen are we going to use first? We're going to first use that Moonman M600S. So this, as I said, it's got a Moonman nib in it. So it's a standard Moonman nib. So the ink that I've picked is this by Robert Oster. It's called Robert Oster Tranquility. This is a beautiful looking ink. It looks like it's tending towards the teal end of the scale. And that's why I picked this because when I look at the pen, I see lots of teal in it. Now what's interesting, if I fetch the pen in now, and put it against that teal, the pen looks blue. So I can certainly see why it's called blue, but without this as a background, I really do see this pen as being a teal color. So let's get that out of the way and let's kick start with the writing. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a Moonman M600S. It's got a fine, Moonman nib. The ink, Robert Oster Tranquility. This is a lovely ink. I don't know if you can see, there's lots of shading coming through already. It really looks nice. I mean, look here we've got dark R, light A, dark N, light Q, dark you. I really like the way this looks on paper. It comes over really nice. Let's look at our drying times. So first we go immediate. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. That's not overly wet. Five seconds. Doesn't really seem to have changed much, does it? 10 seconds. Yeah, that's drying off quite nice. 20 seconds. It, to be honest to me, I would say that's come off wetter than here. Maybe I put down a little bit more ink when I was drying that one. 30 seconds. And at 30 seconds, that's nice and dry. So I won't bother doing the one minute test. So a reasonably fast drying ink in this pen. So this here is the Moonman M600S with Robert Oster Tranquility. The next pen we're going to look at is the Moonman M800 in blue. So this is the one that has got the Moonman nib. The ink that I've got in here is by Noodler and it's Navajo turquoise. Gorgeous turquoise blue ink this. This is an ink I really like and I've got to be honest, I usually use this ink in this pen. I really should force myself to try some different inks in here just to try them out, but I just love the pairing of this. You know, I love the way that it picks out the colors especially when we can get to somewhere where it's, here we are. Just look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous combination? We'll put that one out of the way. So here we have the Moon Man M800, which has got a fine Moon Man nib. Although they're both Moon Man nibs, this feels really horrible. It's really scratchy. When we do the longer writing sample near the end, hopefully you'll be able to hear the difference. The thing that I have done though is with the M600S, I've actually worked on that nib. So I've, I've applied some micro mesh to it. So I think that's why the difference is there. Whereas with the Moonman M800, I've never done anything to that one. The ink, it's Noodler's. Navajo turquoise. Again, I'm seeing some shading coming through. Nowhere near as much as I get from that Robert Oster Tranquility in the M600S. But, you know, here we've got the top of the T, the Q, the S. We've got the A here. We have got some different colours coming through, or some different shades. Drying times, immediate. Wow, isn't that a wet ink? Five seconds. Yeah, not much of a change really, is there? 10 seconds. To be honest, I don't think there's much of a change there either. 20 seconds. Just 
still not much of a difference, is there? 30 seconds. Ah, well, at least we're getting a little bit of drying now. Lastly, one minute. After a minute, well, we've still got a lot of wetness there. So if you're going to be using this for note taking, for example, I really wouldn't recommend it if you're going to be doing multiple pages one after the other. Well, unless you've got some blotting paper, because the drying time, you know, if it's going to take at least a minute to dry, that's not really practical, is it? So this is the Moonman M800 with the Moonman nib. Just going to reposition the paper. The last pen we're going to look at is the Moonman M800. But this one has got the bot nib. So remember the difference here. It's a fine nib in both, but one's made by Moonman, the other one made by Bok. This is where we can start to see a little bit of a comparison between the two nibs. So we have here a Moonman M800 with that fine Bok nib. What a difference. This nib. This pen, just fetch it in, hopefully you can see the nib again. It's so smooth. It's not quite glassy smooth. There is a hint of feedback coming through. Definitely a lot smoother, a lot nicer to write with. The ink is Diamine Ochre. I didn't fetch the swatch in, did I? Let me fix that now. So this is a lovely brown ink to go with this lovely brown pen. Just fetch that in so hopefully you can see that. I'm not going to lay it down, so I make sure that ink's got plenty of time to dry. It's a fairly new ink for me, but I thought it would be a good match for this pen. You know, and it is. The darker parts maybe not, but the lighter parts of the ink really do pick out well against that gorgeous chatoyancy there. What's our drying times like? Well, that's immediate. Wet like that Moonman M800 with Navajo Turquoise. Five seconds. Now that seems to be drying off quite nicely. Certainly, compare it with the Navajo Turquoise, it looks a little bit drier after five seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, we're definitely seeing it's drying off now. 20 seconds. 30 seconds. We're virtually dry at 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. After a minute, that's nice and dry. So let's take a look at very quickly at the three. So the Moonman M600S with Robert Oster Tranquility. That's definitely really nice, fast drying. If we look at the Moonman M800 with that Moonman nib and Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, really wet combination. Whereas the Moonman M800 with the Bok nib and Diamine Ochre, that seems to be in between the two. So it's a little bit faster than the blue one, but definitely not as fast as the M600S. Now, I know this isn't exactly scientific because it's got different inks. and Different inks have different properties, but certainly it seems that the Bok nib is a bit drier than that Moonman nib. But to be really sure, I'd have to use the same ink and to be honest, I don't really want to do that. So I'll be a bit lazy and say, no, that's why I haven't done it. Let's turn the paper over. So on none of them have we got any bleed through. You know, I can see it here, but I think that's because I've got really bright lights which highlight what I can see. I'm going to do a final writing sample with each of them. Let me just move this out of the way so we can get a better view of the paper. What I'm going to do for all three of these next writing samples, I'm going to move the mic as close as I can to the paper so you can actually hear the pen's writing. So we'll start off with the M600S. Now the M800 with the Moonman nib. Ah. 
I'm not sure if that comes over on the mic. That's so much scratch here. It really is. It doesn't sound anywhere near as nice. I'm going to go back down now for the Moonman M800 with the bot nib. So that's writing samples done. If we're looking at these, the nicest one was that bot nib. The worst one was that Moonman nib in the M800. Is it worth $30 difference? Well, we'll look at that in a couple of minutes. The M600S, yeah, it's not too bad. You know, it's not scratchy, but it's not as smooth as I'd like to see from that M800 with the bot nib. But it's still an enjoyable writing experience. It's still a pen I like to use. And to be honest, I'd like to use all three of them. I do need to work on the writing experience here on that nib. So let me get rid of this and I'll fetch in the three pens so we can have another look. So this is the interesting part. This is where I'd give them all a score. We're going to start by looking at the M600S. It looks gorgeous. That colouring, it's all the way around. It's a little bit muted, but that's fine. I don't mind that. It's got the duo turn body. Again, I don't mind that. You know, it's not trying to be a Parker pen. It's trying to be itself. It just looks very similar. But let's be honest, there's a lot of pens which look like that. So in terms of pen looks, I'm going to give the Moonman M600S a 9 out of 10. For both of the Moonman M800s, disappointed that the resin doesn't have that same shading all the way around. It, to me, as I said earlier, it looks like nobody put the thought into it. So I've got to penalise it. But I'm not going to penalise it too much because it still looks nice. It's still a really pretty pen. So what I'll do for these, I'm going to give them both an 8 out of 10. Writing experience. So again, the Moonman M600S. Writes nice, got some gorgeous shading coming through with the ink that's in there. Not overly smooth, there's a bit of feedback, a bit of noise. Going to give that 8 out of 10. The blue M800, the Moonman nib, it's not nice, it's scratchy. You can feel like it's slightly dragging on the paper. I know all I need to do is get some micro mesh to it, and maybe that's something I will end up doing, but I've been trying to avoid really tweaking with the nib because in one respect, it's nice having it as it is for a comparison. So for this, I'm afraid I can only give it a seven out of 10. With the M800 in amber, what a difference in writing experience. That buck nib really does make a difference. It's really nice and smooth. Not glassy smooth. You know, somebody described this the other day. It's a bit like writing on satin. So you can feel there's something there, you know, that's got that little bit of feedback. Really is a pleasure to write with. So I'm just going to give that a 9 out of 10. Ink flow. Well, let's start again with the M600S. You know, it flows nice. Got some nice shading. Not really much I can say about it. It does what it's meant to. 8 out of 10. With the Moon Man, again, given that what the nib's doing, it still flows all right. I wasn't seeing any skipping or jumping or hard starts. So again, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. With the Amber M800, well, again, to me, it just seemed to be coming out of the nib a lot nicer. Could be because it's a nicer nib, I don't know, but it seemed to get a little bit better flow. So I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. So the last one, this is value for money. The M600S, that cost me 25 Australian dollars. That's not bad, is it? You know, Jinhao 100s, again, I think roughly the same price. So it's not out of the realms of what they should be. So value for money for this, given the experience I had, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. The Blue Moon Man, that cost me 52 Australian dollars. So double what the M600S cost. Writing experience wasn't that nice. As I've said, it could be I just need to work on the nib a bit, but I've got to mark it on what I experienced during this test. So I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. The Amber M800 with that bot nib. Glorious to write with, really is really nice, but it's 82 Australian dollars, more than three times the cost of that M600S. That's got to impact the score. And as much as it's a nice writing experience, it's not three times as much. As much as it's a nice looking pen, it's not three times as nice. As much as the writing experience knocks up the score, in terms for value for money, best I can do is give it a 7 out of 10 because it is that much more expensive than the other two. So what does that mean? So in terms of overall score, the blue M800, that comes in in third place with 7.5 out of 10. And both 
both the M600S and the Amber M800, so the Botnir, they both come in with 8.25 out of 10. I know that's a score, and scores can be a bit misleading. With these pens, I absolutely love all three of them. My preference is always to go for the Amber M800. So if you gave me these three pens and said, Gary, pick one, Without a doubt, I would pick the Amber M800. And it's a pen that I would reach for every single time. In fact, it's so bad, I'm having to force myself to not use it. Of the other two pens, again, I'd like them both. I just need to fix up the nib on this if I'm going to make it into more of a daily writer. I think a little bit of work is going to turn that into an awesome pen. So that's my impressions of the M600S with that Moonman nib, the M800 with the Moonman nib, and the M800 with a Bot nib. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got any of these pens? What are your thoughts on them? Which one do you prefer to use? Why do you prefer to use that? I'd love to get your thoughts on this. Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. The more people that hit that thumbs up button, that, that like the video, that comment on the video, well, it just helps the YouTube algorithm to surface the content for other people. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.